hi everyone welcome back to my channel so this is a design that i saw on pinterest and i thought i would have a go at recreating it and giving it a little bit of a twist so there's many colors as you can see used in this design um i can't quite remember it, every one of them but they're up there for you to see I'm using my number 8 Glitterbells round brush and my clear monomath and I'm coming in with my favourite colour which is Violet Skies. This colour is quite hard to work with, it does marble terribly um, but if you play with it and brush it out and you, you can get there in the end. Uh, I show two ways of, of, of dealing with it. One is to just kind of just keep brushing it basically and then the other one is to just swirl it around with the tip of your brush and it covers um, quite well. So I hope you all had a great Christmas and New Year. We're now in <coughs> 2021 and back in lockdown. Oh yes, yet again. Oh, so fed up with this now, I just wish it would vanish, but anyway. So you can see I rolled that bead onto the nail off my brush and I'm just brushing it out. I think it's the next bead where I swirl it around. No, it's not. It'd be the one after this. So, as you can see, I'm just swirling it round with my brush and then it covers no problem at all. I am only working in very small wet beads. Um, it does seem as if I'm putting a lot on the nail, but I'm not. It's just building that color up all the time. I really love this color. I do attempt some one stroke at the end but I've got <laughs> a long way to go with that yet. Yeah. I'll just leave it at that. This is Diamond Veil. This is a pre-mixed glitter from Glitter Bells. It's stunning and I'm just doing a glitter fade with that. And then I'm coming in with a bit of that loose glitter. Um, I think it was opal. And just putting that over the top as well. And then I also come in with, again, Glitter Bell's loose glitter called North Star. And it's just some little stars. And it just adds to the design. I'm now coming in with Lilac Crush and I'm just kind of doing a covering on this nail as this is the nail where I'll be attempting to do my one stroke 
I am trying to up my game with my painting and hand painting and designing. So I'm just doing a full nail of that. This one is going to be a marble um, and I use unicorn tears, palmer violet, pretty pudding, snowdrops white, pink opal, diamond veil and the violet skies. Yeah. So that is the unicorn tears. Palmer Violet, Pretty Pudding, and a bit more of the Unicorn Tears. I wanted the marble to be a little bit darker uh, towards the bottom of the nail. And I'll just work my way up that nail. That's Snowdrops White and Palmer Violet, that one. I'll just let you watch. I'm coming in at the end with the violet skies and just filling in those bits. Because it's such a bad colour with marbling, I didn't really want to add it into the marble because you wouldn't have really seen the true colour. So I just added it at the end like this. This is a full nail of Pretty Pudding. It's a stunning colour. It doesn't really do it any justice on the video, but it's it's a very pale, pinky, lilac colour. It, 
it really is nice. So I want to thank all of my subscribers, old and new. Um, thank you for coming along with me on my journey. And if there's anything you'd like to see, any designs you'd like to see or anything, please just drop them in the comments box below and I will try my best. I'm just adding some more of that loose glitter North Star um, and just putting a couple of the stars on this nail just to tie it all together. I'm now going to cap these nails. Um, I think I just leave two in to show you how I I do encapsulate my designs. I start off with my apex bead, uh, then I do my cuticle bead, and then I do my free edge bead at the top, and then any more if I think it's needed. I'm now coming in with my one stroke. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that. But I, I had a go and I'm going to keep trying. And hopefully one day I'll be able to produce something that kind of looks right <laughs> so I'll just let you guys watch this
So now I'm coming in with my gem glue and I'm going to do a bit of a crystal design on this nail. I am finishing the design off with a few little caviar beads. It does make a difference and, and they do look nice. So now I'm just going around my crystals and applying some top coat, making sure I don't get it on the crystals as that would ruin them. And now we're gonna top coat all the other nails. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please give me a thumbs up, if you're not subscribed I would love it if you join me, I hope you like the design, so yeah, until my next one, thanks for watching guys, bye!